Okay, so we've been asked a number of times now if we can show a gearbox rebuild as part of our video. So we've got a rod change box, we're going to install a Clubman gear set and everything that's associated with that to show you full rebuild on a fast road track day box. So if we get the get the gearbox case and then take it through to the workshop. So this one's been nicely cleaned off, chemically cleaned. Don't advise blasting because it can leave all the grit inside. You'll never get it out. So there's your rod change gearbox case and we've got all the new parts here that we'll show you in a minute and some of the bits that you can reuse from the standard box. So at this point I'm going to hand over to Steve. Okay right we're now in the uh, workshop we're going to run through the process of putting this back together. So first job is going to be to put the interlock spool back into the gearbox. This is the shaft, this is the spool itself, so this one drops into there, nice and free. Okay, from the inside of the gearbox, just pop it into the hole, can't go wrong really, it's just a nice slight fit. That's it. These are part of the selector fork mechanism and you've got to get these in correctly. If you get them in wrong, no gear change. So, first part, is the sleeve which holds the mechanism. Next part is reverse gear selector. On top of that then you need spacer. Then the next selector. You'll notice this one if you look at it straight sexually it's got an angle on both sides. This one has got an angle on one side. This is the top one, this is the middle one. Double taper on the middle, another washer, single taper on the top. That now is good to fit to the box. If you look at them like that, you will see the middle one again has got the double taper. Okay, so we'll drop those in now. It just drops onto the big stud in the bottom of the gearbox, like so. There's this extra thick washer that's come out of the gearbox over the top and then nylon up nut on the top of there. Wait for the nylon to bite, pull him down, that's in. So you've now got your selector spool and your selector forks in place. And as you turn this round, you'll see how this all works now. This actually drops down into there and as you push across the gear the, the gearbox gate you'll see this will go that way and that way as you push and pull on the gear stick it literally pushes and pulls those backwards and forwards and then this little piece that you can see under here is the piece that pushes the selector fork into whichever gear you're selecting and if you come up you'll find it moves the next one backwards and forwards and if you go right down to the bottom it moves the reverse gear one. There we go. So we've got two new selector forks here. Sits on like so. So we'll drop those into the box. So we're now going to put the shaft through. So in we go. We'll lift the selector fork up just to locate it on the shaft. There's one on, come out the other side, there's the second one on, okay. So they're now in place, make sure that they are located on the shaft and on the selector arms in the bottom of the gearbox. You've now got to put this little pin in the hole through the selector fork into the shaft. Here's the hole that goes through the selector fork and through the shaft. So we've now got to put, I'll show you through here, this pin in place. You'll notice it's got um, a pre-machined diameter on the bottom so it fits nice and easy to start. So we'll just pop that in the hole there and then we'll just get a punch and we'll knock that into place. There we go, that's firm. 
and now you should theoretically be able to run through the gear selection so now you'll see there's first gear moving backwards and forwards just pop it back in come out of position now there we go if you now drop it through the selector and now you'll see if we hold this one you'll now move third and fourth if you now drop down one further you will now see reverse gear move backwards and forwards okay we've now got the main shaft in the uh, vice got it inside a pair of aluminium jaws so there's no damage we're now going to put the gears back on the shaft so we'll get the first bearing we'll load it up with some lube and that one literally sits just there okay now the tricky piece is these little springs and detents so you've got a spring goes in just there you've got one plunger that side one plunger that side now they are to lock the spindle after we've fitted the gear so first gear goes here so this is second gear so we need second gear out of the clubman gear set washed off ready to fit so drop him down over there you'll find now that it will locate underneath on the two pins so you've got to compress one of the pins I'll just use a little screwdriver here pop the pin in the other side down there you go so that's on in place now now you'll see the two detents there and there will now locate in this piece right we'll now pop this one on nice fit and you'll find that there are a couple of holes in the side of the gear these are for pushing the detents in okay come around this side you'll see the detent in there push the ring down push the detent home and as you pushed it in put your thumb on top of the ring that will stop the detent coming back out. Come around to this side now, move the gear round until the hole lines up with the detent. If you put a little plunger in there, push him in. As it goes in, keep pressure down on the washer. The washer now will go down. As you've got him down in place, put a little screwdriver in the slot provided push him round and the two detents now you will see are locked in the castellations on the washer one just there and round this side Stephen and one just there let's go for third gear so lube the bearing okay on this one you've only got one detent and plunger so there's the spring going in there's the plunger on top and now third gear and there's your straight cut third gear clubman all cleaned off pop him over the top locate him down spin him up make sure he's on the oil right on this one you'll notice there is a recess here which is larger than the other ones that's where you get the plunger in to push the detent home okay so make sure that one is located directly over the top of the plunger there okay bring him down now you'll notice there's no hole in this gear why they don't put a hole in it I don't know but that's the way it is so what we've got to do now is little tiny punch plunger push in till it locks into the back of the hole push this down down it goes as I push it round you'll see the plunger pop out there you go there it is so that gear now is locked in place we've now got to put a couple more parts on each gear will have a bolt ring on it these are the bolt rings so again put them on turn them so they locate they will actually lock on if you really force them down that's on fine no problem now this is a component that you will use off the original gear set 
So just pop him open, you'll find he's on springs. Goes that way for first gear, that way for second gear, that's in neutral. But pop him into gear. And what you need to be looking at are these teeth here to make sure they're not all rounded off. If they're all rounded off, you'll need to change this outer. So that side, check this side. Again, these are quite good, so we will use this set. So pop him back into neutral. This now literally just drops straight over the splines on the main shaft. Turn the gear and it drops in place. This is first gear. Again, we're going to put a bolt ring on. Bolt ring. Make sure it goes on nice and tight. Yes. So that one's on. But before you put that onto the main shaft, you've got the top hat that actually locates first gear. So this one goes on. Pop that down. Just a light tap just to... Now we need some more lube. In and out, okay. Bearing in place. And now the first gear that you've just put the bolt ring on, turn him upside down. Down he goes, onto the main shaft. As you turn it, you'll notice it'll lock down in place with the bolt ring onto the dog hub. There we go. We'll turn him back over again now. Pop him back in the jaws. Now you've got to do the same as what we did on first and second on third and fourth. So, bolt ring, make sure he goes on. Make sure his seat's down square. Here we go, nice and tight. And again, this is the dog hub for third and fourth. So, pop him open. Again, we're looking for wear on these teeth. These are quite good, in fact, they're very good. Turn him around the other side. Check these ones, again, good. So, this one's good to go. Pop him on to the splines. That one's just dropped straight down. I was hoping it would sit there, and then what we'd say is turn him around till it drops in place. That's good, that's ready to fit. First gear. First to second synchro hub, second gear, third gear, third to fourth gear synchro hub. Fourth gear will sit here, but we put that in afterwards. Okay, back over to the gearbox casing now. Here's the gear set. Now you will notice that we did use first gear off the out, out of the old gearbox on this set. This is because it's a Clubman gear set, so it only comes with second gear, third gear, fourth gear, and lay gear. If you buy the race gear kit, it comes with a new first gear and a new reverse gear. So this set, the Clubman, it'll use the original first and reverse. So we'll just drop this in now. So down she goes, in through the double roller bearing, and then it will drop into the two selector forks like so. And that now is all in place. Okay, so we've got the gears in this one now. So uh, this one's complete as far as we're going to go this week. Next week, what we'll be doing is we'll be putting the double roller, the single roller, fourth gear in, lay gear, lay shaft, centre pickup, and doing all the preloads.